Hello, my fellow nerds who are into things that adults shouldn't be into, just like myself. I actually did some Funko Pop shopping, some trading, some eBaying, and some pre-ordering. So I'm kind of running the gamut here on ways to buy uh, toys. So on Father's Day, I was able to sneak to Target and get really lucky. Because the main one I wanted was this black light Iron Man. I kind of didn't want the other ones. I just wanted this one. Because I do think that the black light paint job really suits Iron Man. And it came out really well. These kind of remind me of Jack Kirby's art. Which is another reason I wanted them. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful packaging. Good idea. Great execution on the Iron Man. Unfortunately, mine has a little bit of box damage right there. Very minor, not a big deal. Might even be able to fix that with a little bit of Sharpie, maybe. I'll test it out on something else first. But what was funny is there was about four dudes waiting for these pops to be taken out from the back. The first guy in line, you know, they only got three each of these, right? So already the math doesn't add up, right? So the first guy in line picks up one Iron Man. You know, inspects it, puts it down because it's damaged, right? Picks up the next one, sees this, oh, damaged. Picks up the third one, he's looking at that one, right? And while he's looking at that, you know, I'm grab, you know, some some other guy, he grabbed one. I grabbed this one. I was like, Sh shit, dude, I'm gonna grab one. I don't care if it's damaged. I want one. And the first guy, the third one, he picked, you know, the one he's looking at, he puts that one down too, thinking there's going to be another one to look for. And another guy grabs that one too. So the first guy in line is kind of shit out of luck. I mean, he, he got a little bit annoyed, but hey, dude, it's like you pick them up, you put them down. Yeah, you're first in line doesn't mean that uh, nobody else is going to grab one, right? Um, so I, I thought that was kind of funny. You know, you snooze, you lose, I guess. But yeah, here's the story of my Blacklight Iron Man. Now, I wasn't going to get the other ones, but once I was there and I saw them, you know, all in a set, I had to have them, you know, FOMO hits in. But this guy, I think, is not as cool as the Iron Man. And I think it's because they screwed up a little bit, I think, on the color of the orange. Because if you look at the box, it doesn't look so dark. And then right here... He just came out super, super orange. And I guess on camera, it looks a little lighter. But in person, it's very, very dark. Like, it's almost as dark as this. But for some reason, my camera is making it look lighter. But yeah, it's very dark. And honestly, when I first saw it, the first thing I thought was, you know, this Captain America looks more like, you know, the president of America with how orange they made him. But still looks cool. They still all look good in a set. I had the same problem with Doctor Strange. I like everything about it. His cape looks incredible. But, again, they made him way, way too orange. He kind of looks like, you know, like a Bollywood version of Doctor Strange, you know, which isn't a bad thing. It's just a little strange. And I also picked up Thor. Now, as you see here, they decided to make his face yellow. Um, but his hair is also yellow, so they were forced to put in, see my camera picks it up, this orange to separate the hair and the face, right? If anything, you know, if any of them they were going to make the face orange would be this guy, so it differentiates from the hair. I think the better thing would have been to make all the other ones have a yellow face, because I just think that would have looked just better, and then maybe put the orange down here or on the star if they needed to and also you know green is a black light color i see some green in here like the black light green they could have kept thor yellow like that and then maybe make his hair green i mean of course you know his hair is blonde but if you have any blonde family members or friends you know that when they swim too much their hair turns green if you want to root it in some kind of reality but I do feel that he would have looked better with just a yellow face, maybe green hair, or the hair orange, or the face orange, the hair yellow, because this thick line of orange on his face just looks kind of funny to me. And if you notice, they made his hands orange too. So, not sure exactly what went on there. Maybe the orange in general was supposed to be lighter, it came out too dark, and they made kind of some on-the-fly decisions. Who knows? Still... 
that's a lot of bitching and complaining about these. It's just a small thing, but you know, if you watch my channel, I, I like to nitpick things, right? Um, but yeah, all together though, as a set, they look great. And I almost forgot to pick up Spider-Man because I forgot that he's also a Target exclusive. Or I'm not sure really because it doesn't say Target exclusive on this box. Um, I'm a little bit behind on the Funko happenings. So yeah, let me know if this is actually a Target exclusive or what. I picked up a medium. You know, again, there was only about two of these. I'm not going to wear the shirt. Definitely going to give that away. But wanted the Spider-Man to complete the set. Hopefully they don't make every single Marvel character. These five are good. I say that I'll probably end up buying if they make more, but these five are good enough. Like, don't cheapen the line by making uh, 20 different characters. This one does look a little bit like you got a blueberry pie to the face. Um, again, I'm critiquing these even though I like them, but who knows, maybe once you flash the black light on them, some of these things that bother me, like this harsh purple to make it look like you got pied, or um, the orange faces on some of these other ones, the black light might soften that up a bit, um, and it'll look a little better with, you know, the way they're supposed to be viewed. Now this one here was from a trade with Franklin McGinnis, you all know him from Funko News. Now, you guys just witnessed a miracle, okay? Because for a six inch pop to be shipped twice <laughs> and not have any damage on it is rare, okay? So good job to Franklin there. But look how pretty this pop is. Pictures don't do it justice. Hopefully you can see this paint job on here. Really cool. Love the detail of the little boat in one of the arms. Really an awesome pop, and yeah, like these are just Funko's own versions of Miss, you know, kind of generic characters, but I'm really liking the original Funko designs that aren't tied to any intellectual property. Really like this Kraken. I was at work when this one was released, sold out in a couple of minutes, but luckily I got friends to help me out. And he also threw this one in here as a bonus. I do have this one already, and it is really funny, and I kind of want it for my sister because I think she'll, because I do think she'll get a laugh out of this one. Now this right here is a real mystery, okay, because it's from Hot Topic. As you can see, it's in a bag. I've been lucky with pops shipped in bags. I've seen other people be very unlucky. I think it just depends on whether your mailman is a rat bastard or not, which mine is, but... I guess I've just caught her on a good day whenever there's been bag shipments from Hot Topic. But I say this one's a mystery because I haven't ordered anything from Hot Topic, it seems like in months. And this is just like a single pop. I never order a single pop. And I did pre-order some Mandalorian Commons months ago that never came and I think Hot Topic canceled that. That's the only thing I can think of that this could be. But who knows, maybe I just got drunk one day and ordered a single pop from Hot Topic at 1 in the morning. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> and it's Lil Wayne, and... I could have swore that Hot Topic already sent me this guy. I'm gonna go look at my collection. So I guess, yeah, I don't have it. So now Lil Wayne is gonna slide his way into my collection and leave it so greasy. Now this right here was an eBay purchase and I think I got a really great price on this one. Hopefully it's not damaged. That's the one thing I'm worried about. Looking good. <laughs> and Homeboy needs to make better listings because this pop is in absolute mint condition. And the reason I was able to get such a good price on it, I think, is because it was an auction. And this guy only had one picture. Just one picture like this and it was kind of blurry. It looked like he might have taken it with a Motorola Razor or something. But it makes everybody think that it's coming from like a filthy home or something or that it's damaged, right? That's why he's not showing other you know, angles. And most of these pops online were going for 50, 60 bucks, some with shipping on top of that. 
I won the auction for this guy for, I believe it was $26 plus $6 shipping. So I got this guy for around 32, 33 bucks. I think it's a great price for a chase that's a completely, well, I want to say completely different character, but it's a completely different mold in every sense. This is the chase for Tyler Durden, and he even comes with a mini pop. One of the penguins is spirit animal, or power animal, I mean. But yeah, really, really cool Edward Norton character, the narrator. And now for the pre-order section of the video. This one actually isn't a pop. These are Mattel WWE Elites. I pre-ordered these from Ringside Collectibles. 2020 catalog. So yeah, they pretty much have available every new one that comes out. They're not always super cheap. They do vary the prices, um, unfortunately. And they're usually around 30% more than what they are in stores, but the selection, of course, is a lot better. So that's kind of the premium you're paying for. Plus, you can pre-order things that are really hard to get, and that will be probably close to $100 when they're first released. So if you like to have things right away, you know, that's the trade-off. And the first one is Ronda Rousey, and I did get her in this protector because I do have another one that I actually want to put in this protector. But I think she came out really good, and if you look at the details and articulation in this one, it almost seems like one of those $30 ultimates um, when it actually comes to the paint job and the sculpting. Yeah, she comes with a belt, extra hands. Really nice looking figure. You know, I don't understand why a lot of WWE fans don't like Ronda Rousey. In this SummerSlam, she took such a beating. Like, it just reminded me of old school ECW, you know, where they really brutalized each other. I mean, she had welts. She was bleeding. She got messed up, but <laughs> they still boot her. And I don't think they boot her because she's a heel either. They just boot her because she's Ronda Rousey. I don't, I don't get it, but... Okay, it wasn't at SummerSlam. It was against Charlotte Flair, but still, you know, look at this. We agree. I just, oh, hey, I just, oh. Come on, ref, do something. The match is over. Ronda Rousey. And on the is destroying Ronda Rousey with a kendak. A natural save her life. This is a. And we're not just talking physically. I feel, I mean, I feel like she gives it her all, but whatever. But the one that I really wanted and I think everybody wants right now because he is going for quite a bit on eBay. But it's like I say, it's just because he's new. The price will go down. But that is Bray Wyatt the Fiend. And look how good this figure looks. Look at that face. It's incredible, incredible detailing. Her heel on the gloves, extra hands, and it comes with the lantern. Really nice touch. They didn't have to do that, and I think everybody would still want this guy as much as they do. Would have been cool if this glowed in the dark, or if you could put a little watch battery in there and it actually shined. That would have been awesome. But yeah, it would be cool if they also make um, a, a Firefly Funhouse version of him, and honestly... Um, I remember from WrestleMania, the segment. Yeah, and I call it a segment because that really wasn't a match. The segment he had with John Cena. If they would make the John Cena NWO version, I think everybody would lose their mind and that thing would sell like hotcakes. But yeah, definitely think there's going to be another version of this guy. So don't go nuts and go pay 100 bucks for this guy or even 80 bucks or 70 bucks, whatever it's going for right now. It will settle down. They will make another version for sure. All right, guys, so you just witnessed a grown man's obsession with toys. Let me know if you picked any of these up, if your target got those black light pops, and if they were hard to get. What do you think about that narrator chase? Honestly, I think it's one of the best chases Funko has ever made. Great idea, great execution, and a totally new mold. It's just an awesome chase. Do you collect WWE Elites? I honestly think these are two of the best figures they've come out with in a long time, too. Thanks again to Franklin for that Kraken, one of my favorite 6-inch pops now. 
And thank you guys for watching once again. And take it easy.